I don't know who sent this, but whatever it is, it's full of bookbinding stuff and it's from the UK and it had expensive shipping and it's kind of heavy and fragile. It is Learn Bookbinding Complete Starter Kit. Wow. Got a ruler, a cutting mat, chipboard. Um, I'm assuming this is glue, the paper, the end bands, ribbon. Oh, it's, there's two kits. I like the color in the paper. Oh, wow. That's a lot of tools. Maybe a couple glue brushes, um, a clip, a thread, and band for the type of case binding, I think. Uh, wax for waxing the thread, little scissors, an awl with a cork on the end so you don't stab yourself. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh no, I broke it. I'll super glue this back. That's a real, that feels like a real bone folder. It, it's heavy. And a utility blade, utility knife. Despite me breaking the awl, I think everything in this kit is good quality. This is advertised as a complete bookbinding starter kit, and it really does have everything you would need to start bookbinding. Specifically, hardcover case binding, and it does come with a very extensive downloadable instruction, and it's about 61 pages. It's a lot, but it definitely does go through every single step, and I really appreciate that there are pictures along with each step. I wish I had something like this when I was starting out bookbinding. So thank you to Mandy Flockton for sending me this. I will link the shop down below if you're interested in checking it out. Thanks for all the suggestions, by the way, on my last video about uh, crochet hooks. I'm still new to crochet and I want to give it another try after my last uh, fail, crochet fail. I only have a large size hook right now, but I thought maybe there would be some donated crochet hooks at a thrift store. So I went to one and I found like so many different size needle needle, or the, the knitting needles. They had every type of knitting needle, but no crochet hooks. I was really hoping there was a used crochet hook um, maybe I'll need to check another thrift store. The brand that you guys suggested the most in the last video was Clover, and they have the more ergonomic handle, which I think I will like. So I might try one of those, maybe like a pack, maybe. Today I need to upload my monthly podcast. It's more of like a 10 minute audio update of my month, some personal things and work related things, whatever is going on from that month, kind of like a recap. I'm not the greatest at uploading consistently on my social outlets, so I feel like this monthly podcast is a way for me to update uh, the people that are really interested in my art and my channel and it's for my patrons and members. I will link it down below if you're interested. In my last video, I was getting into mixed media and I think somehow YouTube knew that and it started recommending to me a bunch of different uh, mixed media videos and channels. And I found this one from Art by M, I think it's called. Really beautiful collage work. She showed her process in her videos and it really inspired me to try some collage. Usually I would think of collage like cutting up magazines, that kind of style never really interested me. But when I saw that she was making her own patterns or painting her own colors to then cut up, that really interests me. It made me want to paint my own textures. I've never done anything like this before, but 
it really interests me and I feel more excited to play around with it, which is what I want to do more of this year. I definitely like the element of play and improvising. It seems so fun to me right now. I want to make a bunch of different papers with different colors to choose from, different textures, and then have that ready to paint with and glue that to my mixed media paper that I bought. And then I can also improvise like drawing or painting on top of it. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but uh, maybe something simple. I thought about doing my fruit art challenge again because those are very simple subject matters to experiment with until I get the hang of it and figure out more like complex compositions. More info than you probably wanted, but this is what's going on in my brain. This is what's going on on my workbench and that's what I'm into right now. <laughs>